Hello, this is Nick Rhodes of Wildlife Properties Land Company. Today we're at 454 East 1300 Road. This is a 10 acre country home property. Standing out here on the road. Just wanted to give you a quick look around at the place on the outside. We've got a uh, two bedrooms on the main floor and a bathroom, and then two bedrooms in the basement on this place. It's a shot down the road. And around here. And you can check out the other drone video we've got on the property. It shows a little bit more of the expansiveness of the place. But there is a detached garage here. And this is like a pole barn type setup. Dirt floor. Give you an idea what this looks like. And then the property actually continues on down that way. Take you around the back side here. <clears throat> they just put a brand new roof on this and we had a windstorm right before that. And so it took out a tree here that they've got cleaning up. Got some hydrants out here. Uh, interesting thing about this old farmhouse, it actually started out its life as a prairie schoolhouse. So I thought that's kind of cool. Uh, old time schoolhouse. And then over time, somebody's added on to it. See the air conditioner unit there. And we'll head inside and take a look what the inside looks like. So as you walk in, there's a porch here. And then you've got essentially the front door to the house, the window to the kitchen. As you step in, it's a pretty nice, big, open layout. There's a living room area over here with an exit. It goes out to the back porch or the deck. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. This is that spot I was just at. Back side of the garage. Pan around here. The dining area. Here's the primary bathroom for the place. So, got one bathroom here. Give an idea what this shower tub combo looks like. Toilet, vanity. And then as we go this way, a little foyer here, and then we've got two bedrooms. This is bedroom number one. And then bedroom number two. Pan around this way for you. So those are the two bedrooms up here on this main level. And to get to the basement, we gotta go back through the kitchen. It's a nice big closet here as you walk in. And then into the kitchen. Kitchen space, there's a nice pantry off of the kitchen. They've also got a cutout here, which is where your refrigerator would go. And then you've got a walkthrough door that you can get into the, into the pantry area. This is also where the breaker box is. And we'll head on downstairs. One thing I like about this uh, staircase, it's actually very wide. We got a light bulb burned out up here, so a little bit dark right now. As we come down the stairs, we've got some laundry hookups, washer and dryer. There's some other utility down here. Uh, this, these two units here are part of your water softening system. This is your water heater. And then we've got the 
furnace and air handler over here. That's a high efficiency train system. So that's pretty nice. Um, we've got a pretty good sized bedroom down here. Give you a pan around. No egress window. So we call this a non-conforming bedroom. And then as we go back out, here's the fourth bedroom, or the second downstairs bedroom. And you can see here, the closet, open space. Again, we've got the daylight, but we don't have an egress window. So again, non-conforming, two non-conforming bedrooms in the basement, and then two traditional bedrooms upstairs. Washer and dryer hook up here. Here's the sewer main or water main for everything. Goes out to the septic tank. Uh, this unit here on the wall is your reverse osmosis system. That's those three tanks right here on the wall. We've got that. And the main water uh, for the house comes in over in this cabinet in the corner. This window here is blacked out because it has an addition built over it, but there are two other uh, daylight points here. And head back upstairs. Come back up through the kitchen. And we're back up into the living room here. So that's it. That's the tour, a quick tour of 454 East 1300 Road, Agra, Kansas. If you have any questions, uh, give us a call or reach out to us on our website, www.mywildlifeproperty.com. And thanks for going along with us on this tour.